You ever step out of the shower and be like, damn, you can do better. And I'm not talking about a diet or working out or some sort of self-help book. The help that I'm talking about is something. All right, so what I'm about to do today is finally get a haircut. Way or Bro, do what is you doing? Bro, what is it that What's you're doing? This? What's wrong with this? You can't be rocking those shoes. That's a rookie move. That's a rookie mistake. You know those hair splinters will make your feet, legs, all that get stuck in your shoes okay. forever. You can't be rocking those. All right, I get it. Hair cutting outfit. Get yourself. Go, Go back inside. I got this. Leave it to What's cool is when businesses go out of business, they make it look like this. It looks better than cardboard. San Diego is not exactly like Chicago, but it's still pretty cool. And we got all some musicians here. So I'm a little early, sipping on something called Blue Magic. It just sounds fancy got blue magic algae. I don't even know what that means, but it tastes good. I feel healthier. I think I'm gonna live longer. Ah, but that's a homie shop. Definitely one of the best barber shops I've ever been to in my life. And I've been getting haircuts for a long time because I've had a lot of life to live. Raynon has been the homie since basically my beginning time in San Diego. It took a little bit to find the right barber. Once I did, you just don't let him go. Been supporting his business and he's been supporting my hair forever. And what's cool is he's not just a barber, he's the homie. We hoop together. In fact, I've been in a bunch of basketball leagues because of him and made a bunch of new friends because of you. So appreciate you, Raynon. Everything that you've been doing for my hair and keeping me looking fresh for almost a decade now. What's up, y'all? I'm Raynon. We're here at Sovereign Barbershop in North Park in San Diego. Uh, big Al behind the camera. Al and I have known yes. each other for, what, since two, the year you got married. It was that year. 2015. 15. So, going on seven years now. Uh, definitely always got to show love and support to Al because it's all he's ever shown to me. Great dude, and I know for sure your daughter's going to see this, right? Yes. Obviously. Family. But just so you guys know, your dad, he's that guy. Ain't nothing better than getting a fresh cut, walking through a farmer's market, not buying nothing because I ain't got no money after getting a haircut. When I started today, I had an idea of where I was going to go. I knew my hair was long, I, need, I knew I needed a fresh fade, and I knew I was going to go to North Park to visit my homie Raynon at his sovereign barber shop to get a cut, which I ended up doing. It looks pretty good. Um, I have a little peanut head and, you know, Asian hair. Not everybody can cut that. He cuts perfectly. Chef's kiss. Is it all your fingers? Some of your fingers? I don't know, this feels really awkward and I, I'm still doing it. What I realized was going down there, sitting in the barbershop and knowing that this video was in mind, I thought it was gonna be about the fade. Because I'd still think it's the best accessory a dude, at least a dude with short hair, can get. But it evolved from that. And I think part of it is because you realize the relationship that you have with your barber. And it's a very unique one because not many times do you have a chance to sit, be still, you can't go anywhere else, and chop it up for an hour. I mean, we've talked about everything. Most recently, we talked about Lupe Fiasco for like a good 20 minutes. 
And I think finding someone that you can talk about Lupe Fiasco for 20 minutes in the year 2022, I would say is very rare. And I get it why when you become rich and famous, one of the things that you always carry with you, wherever you go, is a barber. They fly them out, they get cut in their hotel, they get cut in the gym, in their basketball court. I mean, all these places, the person that travels with them isn't their personal trainer all the time, isn't their chef, their barber. And I think I get it now. So this is to you, Raynon, the barber. Peace, y'all.